Hi, my name is Willie, and today in this video, I'm going to go over these engine mount hole locations for this Vanguard engine. Okay. Now, uh, if you're going to do, for those of you doing an engine repower, you have to take note of where your crankshaft center line is going to be, as well as how high your crankshaft is going to sit up off of the frame of the tractor, because it varies depending on the engine. So. Be sure to check that out. Now, as for how I'm going to mount this thing up, I had to figure out what the dimensions were for the engine mount. So what I found, looking online, is the crankshaft is a little bit off-center from the engine mount holes. So this crankshaft center line is 11 millimeters closer to the starter side of the engine than it is to the oil filter side. Okay, so I marked where my crankshaft center line would be, but you can't see the mark on here because I had rubbed off as I was doing some work on here. So once you get your crankshaft center, you can measure 91 millimeters from the center to the starter side, okay, this being the flywheel side here, okay, and then 104 millimeters from the center to the oil filter side. The overall length being, I'm sorry, the overall width being 195 millimeters from this hole to this hole. Now the next set of holes it, from here to here is 102 millimeters, okay? And that is from that hole to that hole, okay? And uh, next thing we're gonna, gonna go over is when I had mounted this engine on, I noticed that the uh, belt wasn't lining up too good with the output shaft here. So I had moved this these holes 10 millimeters forward, okay. And the next thing is there's a little bit of an offset to these holes, okay. So if you want to use these outside holes, you can add 15 millimeters to that overall length. So it'd be 102 plus 15, which would be 117 millimeters from this hole to that back hole. Okay. So, hope that helps. In other news, got a bit of an update. I got myself some octane boosters so I can mix up some fuel to run my performance built engine. For those of you that are wondering about my performance built engine, I'll put a video in the description below here so you can see what all I've done to this. And uh, because this is going to be a little bit hopped up of an engine, uh, I had added these, I'm going to say quarter inch uh, flat stock to help reinforce this frame. Uh, so what I had done is underneath here I added washers to grab the frame a little bit better and then tighten this down with some longer bolts to help reinforce that. I also added these bolts to help take any kind of wobble out of this frame. Uh, I was thinking about putting some reinforcement on the inside of this frame, but the problem is, is I have this brake clutch assembly in my way, so I can't really run anything on the inside. The bottom is pretty strong because it's got the steering on the bottom of it, so uh, if I have to reinforce this in the future, I might run a piece of angle iron or C-channel on the outside of the frame rails if I have to. We'll have to see how it goes. It'll probably be fine. Okay, so that's a bit of an update for you. I'm hoping to have this engine set on and running. Uh, by tomorrow. I don't know. So, if you like the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And as always, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.